Hello, this is Stabadan. And Samadan and Shadowdan. And they are on a journey to make gold. Now last time we checked in with them, we checked in with each of them individually and had a look at what they were doing from the gold making perspective. Now at the start of the month, we are currently here on the 13th, so at the start of the month we bought a token. Uh, currently we don't actually have the token price here, that should be refreshed hopefully soon. There we go, 197,000 gold. So our target for this month is before the end of the month, when we run out of game time, is we want to have enough gold to be able to buy another token. So we are currently sitting at 125,000 gold. Most of that gold is on Shadowdan and Stabadan. So we have collectively a reasonable amount of gold. So I think for this month, we are definitely in a strong position to be able to make enough for a token. Stabadan here has a fair amount of stock left over from building up over the past year or so. If we look at the TSM graph we've had since we started, obviously this is a long time slowly building up our flipping profile and making a reasonable amount of gold. And now we've got up to this heady height, we were up here at 224,000. Have spent a little bit here on our first token, and now we're sitting here at 125,000 gold total with our characters. So for this episode, we're going to look at what we are currently doing in order to make gold in order to pay for our token. So of course we have Stavadan here, he is doing his flipping of various commodities here on Lightbringer. So the usual process will be to go over, collect up the gold, post on our auctions. Now because we have a fair amount of stock, we can pretty much just pick up this. What have we got? Sales here, 2,400, bit of rune cloth, deep sea satin, pyrite ore, and then a whole load of our stock that has expired. So we'll go grab that and list it back on the auction house. Now if we use bag appraiser, uh, if I actually change that to not show the bank and I just look at our bag total and use, if we use, I guess market value would be fine for here at the moment. So bag appraiser is telling us there we have 380,000 gold worth of stock here. The most contributors here being the Spirit of Harmony, we've got 330 of that at 147,000 gold, and some Fell Hide at 103,000 gold, and some Widow Bloom there at 29,000 gold. So those are our high value items. Now unfortunately the Spirit of Harmony, we haven't been able to sell any of that um, for a long time. Last sold 107 days ago for 214 gold, so we may have to find a different use of that. Probably uh, if we can get our professions going, have a look at alchemy and convert that into living steel. But for the moment we don't have professions, so let's carry on and list our auctions on. So there we go, we'll run a post scan of all of this and hopefully get that on. It's currently at 61,000 gold. We still currently have some posted auctions on that are about to expire. A um, few different BOEs and things like that. You're probably worth actually cancelling those whilst we're here. Actually we're still, uh, let's post these on first and then we'll cancel. There we go. So a few still below minimum price. We can go through our normal flipping process. Let's just take these by time and we'll just take those out now. There we go. And then we'll go and put those on as well. So normally I'd go through, I'd scan, look for any bargains, go through and post all these on, see if I can make a reasonable amount of gold. But for now, we'll just go through and just post these on with the stock we have. And then we can go through and check in on each of our other characters and check where they're at in the process and decide what we're going to do coming forward for the next couple of weeks, really. Now, we don't normally spend a lot of time on these characters. So this is this is where playtime is limited. So we're trying to achieve this with not unreasonable um, amount of times each week. For Stabadan, it's not much at all, just popping on literally a few minutes and relisting and restocking. Uh, sometimes we'll go through and it'll take a little while to list everything on. For now, we'll just leave that as it is. Let's check in on the other characters and see what else we can do. Hello, Samadan. How are you? Now, you've been our farming character for quite a while. Let's have a look and see where you're at at the moment. Did I see a ghost over there? I think I did. 
can't quite see it there, but there's definitely something there. I wonder what that is. Very strange. <laughs> Looks like the ghost has gone. So normally with Samadan we would go check our mailbox. We just have a couple of items left from our farming session. Uh, Crescent Veil leggings of the Aurora and some fell slate we haven't sold yet. So normally I just very, very quickly jump on and relist those on the auction house. We're just using a mass sell operation here. Just throwing things on, not worrying at all about the price. Just see what we can sell them for. 18 gold there. And that one's for 804 gold. So we have 18,000 on us in uh, farmed materials at this point. So normally I'd go and look and see if there's something I could do to farm. But for me, I think looking at the three characters we have here, we have Samadan here who, you know, we can ch exchange our time for farming, um, which is definitely a viable way to make some gold. But in terms of given our play style and how long we have available to us. I think our focus really should be over on Shadow Dan. So we're going to go over and have a look at him. So we'll say goodbye for now, Samadan. We'll see you very soon. So that was Samadan, currently at level 47. Been leveling up quite well with um, just the herbalism and mining that we've been doing whilst we've been farming. But uh, the main action here at the moment has been Shadow Dan, currently at level 57. So let's jump in now and have a look. Hello Shadow Dan. Now we've been a bit busy with you since we last saw you on the Let's Play series. During my streams I have been going through and doing the, the story campaign here on Shadow Dan to get ourselves into a good position to be able to set ourselves up ready for other characters to get up through 50 and 60. So we are currently level 57. We are working through the Ardenwield campaign at the moment. So we need to, we are at three of eight chapters at the moment. So about halfway through, according to uh, Zygor. And then once we've done the Ardenwield, we'll then have the Revendreth campaign to do after that. And then hopefully we'll get to level 60. Now, in terms of gold making, this doesn't do a great deal for us other than opening up new opportunities because we will be able to get flying. We'll be able to get access to Corthia and there'll be some things we can do with the mission tables. So it's all about a future investment. So for the main point, really, looking at the three different characters here, Shadowdan, Stabadan, and Samadan, whilst Stabadan has a lot of potential to just keep the gold ticking through steadily with flipping materials, the main bulk of our gold-making plans for the future are going to be with professions. Now, Shadowdan has herbalism and mining at the moment. We did start with leatherworking, uh, early on just to make a little bit of gold but because we weren't up at level 60 and we went into the legendary market we dropped that in favor of leveling up and whilst we're leveling we thought we might as well pick up herbalism and mining because then we can spot any nodes on our journey and then pick them up for extra experience so whilst we have both of these thinking ahead to once we've leveled up to 60 we'll then go and drop these two professions and pick up something else and I'm thinking at the moment, I'm probably going to go with my two favourite professions, which is enchanting and tailoring. Now they should give us a reasonable amount of gold with a few opportunities without too much difficulty with the basic Shadowlands profession. But then we can explore that even further by going a bit deeper into the professions and learning all the old world enchants and tailoring recipes. And those will give us other opportunities to make some gold. So it's definitely a long-term plan here. There is a lot we can be doing here at the moment, but for the main point, the main focus of our time is to actually go through and level. And we're using Zygor here to guide us through the journey because we've done this once already over on EU and just go through the main story points and try to get ourselves up to level 60 as quickly as possible. If we can unlock flying by getting to Renown, 44 I believe it is and unlocking the Corthia campaign and the last sigil quest so we're going to have to go through the whole covenant campaign we're going to have to go then through the Corthia campaign get up to renown 44 so that's a quite a lot of work to unlock flying but then that would mean that Samadan will be able to fly around and collect up herbs and ore much much more efficiently and selling current world content as well so for our purposes at the moment in terms of earning the gold we have. 
Stab her down there at 61,000 gold, so hopefully we'll still continue to have some sales with the materials we're flipping there. And in the meantime, we'll carry on here with Shadow Dan. We do have a fair amount of things we can sell as we go as well, so we'll probably pop a lot of these things on the auction house and try and sell those. We still have a few leftover leatherworking bits and pieces as well. The difficulty here, of course, is we don't have access to our Brutosaur like we do on EU, so we'll have to wait until we get back to an auction house or spot a Brutosaur in the wild before we can post things on. In fact, we have some mail here at the moment, so let's go check what that is. And we have sold a few things, some shrouded cloth, creeping crawler meat, a lithium ore, some lightless silk. That's 2,700 gold. There must be something else down here. Here we go. Some of our old leather working bits and pieces. We have 1,000 there and a few hundred on each of those. So that is a nice addition. So we'll grab all of that now, along with all our spare bits that we haven't listed on here. Okay, let's get rid of all of our junk and things at the innkeeper. We'll sell those whilst we're here. Now we have a fair amount of bits of armour here. Now normally my intention here would be to vendor them because the vendor sell price is pretty high compared to the disenchant price. It's pretty much exactly the same. But if we're thinking of taking enchanting at a later date, then it might be worth saving all of these soulbound items and we can use those for some easy skill ups at the beginning of our journey into the profession. So I'm going to keep hold of those for the moment and not sell them and we'll convert those into enchanting materials. We may have to put them into the bank afterwards. Uh, all the trade skill stuff, things we could probably sell. For now though, we're going to continue our storyline and see if we can get a little bit more progress here down up to level 60. Until next time, we need more anima. I will meet you outside of my friend. may know where we can <laughs> This is the way. I like that. I will join you. Perhaps it is known. Find what we need. Okay, let's continue. That should do the trick. I'll keep an eye on the dress. You head back to Alio. What a beautiful sight. Shadow down with butterfly wings. Okay, it's getting a little bit dicey here, but we're making our way through, making some good progress, which is really nice. Okay, it looks like that little area is done as well. So let's head on back. And we've made good progress so far from the looks of things. Visions of the Dreamer all the way through. Let's go hand those in. And okay, so we must be level 58 to continue the next quest line. <laughs> That's interesting. We haven't quite got there. We are literally just 92% through 57. So a little bit more leveling, a few extra things we can probably do. Um, we can use Threads of Fate, uh, leveling guide to complete quests. Um, we can run dungeons if we prefer. A few different things we could potentially do. But for now, I think we'll leave it there for good old Shadow Den. Let's get ourselves to a nice rested area and for every list up all of our things for sale. There we go. Now we don't have an auction house nearby, so we'll have to leave that for the moment. Take pride in your work. So in terms of gold making, obviously we're still at 131,000. So we're about 50 odd thousand away from what we need to be. Maybe 60,000 in fact, 65,000. So we are going to need to get a little bit more gold here. Doing the campaign whilst fun and whilst helping us with our long-term progression isn't quite going to get us where we need to with our gold. So maybe next time we'll have a look at upping our professions, maybe having a look at that tailoring and enchanting. We could obviously have to invest a little bit of gold to do that though. So maybe not. Maybe we'll just carry on and sell the things we have. Maybe we need to go back to the auction house and list those on before we carry on elsewhere. So many options. But for now, we'll leave you Shadow Dan. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, happy cold making, and I'll see you very soon.